in today's class we will learn about important problems on property number 3 of Laplace transform. The problem number 1 is Laplace transform of sine hyperbolic of t divided by t and the second problem is Laplace transform of 2 times sine t into sine phi t whole divided by t. So detailed solution of this problem we will see now. Hello everyone. In today's class we will see the problems of Laplace transform using the property number 3. So let's see the example now. The question is find the Laplace transform of sine hyperbolic of t divided by t. So solution. So we need to find Laplace transform of sine hyperbolic of t divided by t. So first you collect here what here f of t. So our f of t is sine hyperbolic of t. So take Laplace operator on both the sides. So Laplace of f of t is equal to Laplace of sine hyperbolic of t. So which is nothing but so Laplace, Laplace of sine hyperbolic of t you can apply directly here also so but here what better I will uh, go for what here uh, simplified form so sine hyperbolic of t can be I have not applied any Laplace so just I will simplify first sine hyperbolic of t which is nothing but e raised to t minus e raised to minus t divided by by 2. So therefore now you will apply so Laplace transform. So here it will become what here 1 by 2 you take common. So what we are going 1 by 2 if you left it. So what left here. So Laplace of e raised to t minus Laplace of e raised to minus t. So you simplify. So it will become 1 by 2 times. Laplace of e raised to t is nothing but because coefficient of t is 1. So 1 upon s because of uh, um, plus 1 it will become minus here minus and Laplace of e raised to minus t is 1 upon s plus 1. So this is nothing but our f dash of s and it is a result of what here Laplace of sine hyperbolic of t. Now as per the question we need to find Laplace transform of sine hyperbolic of t divided by t. So therefore, so therefore I will apply directly. So Laplace transform of sine hyperbolic of t divided by t is nothing but 1 by 2 will keep outside integration of s to infinity 1 by 2 which I will consider as constant keep outside it is 1 by s minus 1 minus 1 upon s plus 1 into ds. So first we need to apply integration then the limits. So 1 by 2 you keep outside only. So integration of 1 upon s minus a is log of s minus 1 minus integration of 1 upon s plus 1 is log of s plus 1 limit from s to infinity. So before apply uh, integration uh, upper and lower limit for this so both the term having log so apply log property so 1 by 2 times it will become log of a minus b form so therefore it will be s minus 1 divided by s plus 1 in limit from s to infinity 
so therefore once you apply so 1 by 2 will keep outside so apply the limits so it will be limit of s tends to infinity it will be log of s minus 1 divided by s plus 1 minus so if you apply a, a limit s by s in the as a lower limit so it will remain same i will write directly it will be log of s minus 1 divided by s plus 1 so as we know that so on simplification this will become log 1 log 1 will be 0 so therefore the final simplification i will write directly as 1 by 2 times so this will become minus log of s minus 1 divided by s plus 1 which is nothing but because of minus you change it it will become 1 by 2 times log of s plus 1 divided by s minus 1 and because of 1 by 2 this will be log of square root of s plus 1 divided by s minus 1 so in this way we need to find the value so it is a resultant of laplace transform of a sine hyperbolic of t divided by t we'll see the next example now The question is find the Laplace transform of 2 times sin t into sin phi t divided by t. So just see the uh, numerator here in which form they have given. So it is not in direct form. We need to apply trigonometric function first that is results. Lap we need to find Laplace transform of 2 times sin t into sin of phi t divided by t. So here, here our function f of t is 2 times sin t into sin of phi t. So first this is not in a direct form means we cannot apply the Laplace transform directly. So first we need to apply trigonometric formulas. So 2 will keep as it is. So this is sin A into sin B formula which is nothing but 1 by 2 times cos of A minus B that is T minus phi T minus cos of T plus phi T. So I applied cos of a minus b 1 by 2 times cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b form here because sin a into sin b will be out here 1 by 2 times cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b so this is the trigonometric formula so 1 by 2 and this 2 get cancels so we have left with what here cos of t minus phi t will be minus 40 but minus 40 is nothing but plus 40 only so cos of 40 minus t plus phi t it will become cos of 60 i will repeat so 1 by 2 this 2 cancels with this 2 cos of t minus phi t will be cos of minus 40 but cos of minus theta is nothing but cos theta itself so i have taken cos 4 theta then minus as it is so cos of t plus phi t will be cos of 60 so this is our f of t so now it is ready to apply laplace transform because we can find the result directly for this uh, result so therefore Laplace of f of t is nothing but Laplace of cos of 40 minus Laplace of cos of 60 so therefore so this is nothing but Laplace of cos 40 is s divided by s square plus 4 square minus Laplace of cos 60 is s divided by s square plus 6 square. So therefore Laplace of 
cos uh, 2 times sin t into sin of phi t will be s divided by s square plus 16 minus s divided by s square plus 6 square is 36. So this is our required f dash of s. Now in the required question they have given divided by t means one time integration using property number 3. So therefore Laplace of 2 into sin t into sin of phi t divided by t will be integration s to infinity s divided by s square plus 16 minus s divided by s square plus 36 into ds. Again we have two terms we need to integrate but just see that how we are going to integrate again the same situation so denominator is s square plus 16 if you differentiate uh, it is the resultant of s square plus 16 is 2s but we have here s in the numerator so we will divide and multiply so I will divide one by uh, divide 2 and multiply 2 so it will be 2s divided by s square plus 16 minus 2s divided by s square plus 36 so property of the uh, integration is what here integration f dash of x divided by f of x dx is there then we can write log of f of x means if denominator dif uh, differentiation if it is present in the numerator at that time we can apply this property so therefore, differentiate, integration, differentiation of s square plus 16 is 2s, s square plus 36 is also 2s. So we can write log of uh, s, plus, s square plus 16 and uh, log of s square plus 36. So therefore, it will be 1 by 2 as it is, bracket, integration of first term will be log of s square plus 16 minus integration of second term log of s square plus 36 limit from s to infinity so therefore it apply the logarithm property log a minus log b so 1 by 2 times log of s square plus 16 divided by s square plus 36 so s to infinity so again the same situation here so we need to simplify by using a limit so 1 by 2 will keep outside so it will be limit of log of s square plus 16 divided by s square plus 36 as s tends to infinity as upper limit minus lower limit if you replace s by s so this result will remain same so i'll write as it is so it will be log of s square plus 16 divided by s square plus 36 so again will not elaborate much so this resultant if you take s square common in the numerator s square common cancels so 16 upon s square 36 upon s square which will be if you apply in s by infinity 16 upon infinity square which is 0 so 1 plus 0 so this resultant will get completely log 1 so it is 1 by 2 times log of 1 minus log of second term it is s square plus 16 divided by s square plus 36 so there but log of 1 is 0 so we'll get 1 by 2 times 0 minus log of s square plus 16 divided by s square plus 36 so therefore again minus because of minus the numerator will become denominator denominator will become numerator so therefore laplace of 2 times sin t into sin of phi t divided by t will be 1 by 2 times 
log of s square plus 36 divided by s square plus 13 has changed because of the minus sign numerator will become denominator denominator will become numerator so therefore because of this 1 by 2 we can conclude the result as 1 by 2 times we can conclude as log of square root of s square plus 36 divided by s square plus 16 so in this way we need to simplify the examples using property number 3